This year, in 2023, we celebrate the 100th anniversary of electrodynamic loudspeaker invented by Mr. Rice and Mr. Kellogg. This wonderful technology has revolutionized the world of sound reproduction and everyone uses it every day. Nevertheless, for a century, the electrodynamic loudspeaker hasn't experienced any technological breakthrough. It still follows the same principle, a long coil immersed in a magnetic field producing a force proportional to the current passing through it. The membrane attached to these coils creates in turn pressure on the near-air molecules. Nowadays, most of the loudspeakers are built in a very similar assembling. Whatever the cone material or the motor structure type, all electrodynamic loudspeakers provide the same performances range. This technology is at the same time suitable for many consumer products and convenient for the loudspeaker industry, but it involves performances limitation and constraints for products development. We can summarize these limitations in two groups, the motor structure and the moving parts. The motor structure itself has two main issues. First, the voice calls does not offer a constant force factor or only on very small amplitude. This is a fundamental point because the dynamic of the music signal requires high excursion capabilities and a constant acceleration factor. Otherwise, the audio signal is disturbed. Most of the time, to increase the force factor linearity, we use a longer and therefore heavier voice coil. By increasing the mass, both efficiency and acceleration capabilities are reduced. An alternative solution consists in using a short coil in a long gap, named underhang motor structure. It is then possible to reach a perfectly constant force factor as long as the voice coil remains in the gap. However, no axial magnet can produce a magnetic field around one Tesla over more than roughly 20 mm, which limits the linear excursion to more or less 6 mm. By trying to go beyond, we find the same disadvantages as conventional magnetic circuits. To compensate the magnetic field becoming lower, the voice calls are made of four layers, thus becoming heavy and significantly inductive. The second limit of loudspeaker motor structure is precisely the inductance. Less often discussed, it is the root cause of two significant problems. First, when current goes through the voice coil, it creates its own magnetic field, which opposes the flux of the magnets. Secondly, when the voice coils move in the gap, it generates a current which disturbs the audio signal supposed to drive the voice coil. These physical facts create modulation and, as a consequence, the voice call does not strictly follow the audio signal. We can clearly observe modulation on multitone signals and transient response. Keeping in mind that music is made of frequency variation layers played together, low modulation is obviously mandatory to build effective loudspeaker. Reducing inductance modulations requires to use large demodulation rings and voice calls are made of fewer tones. Demodulation rings imply a wider gap, therefore a less intense magnetic field. With this analysis, the fundamental link between the linear range of the force factor, the inductance and the moving mass become obvious. This link limits product development leading to technical choices far from our target of perfect sound reproduction. For the moving parts, there are also two limitations. The first one comes from the suspensions. The resonance frequency is directly provided by the mass and stiffness of the suspensions, the mass being constant. We therefore have resonance frequency depending on stiffness, called CMS. CMS mainly results of the spider stiffness. 
with conventional spiders, the stiffness increases according to the excursion, thus increasing resonance frequency as well. As a consequence, the response in low frequencies depends on the excursion. Once again, the audio signal is altered when loudspeaker is playing larger excursion. The second limitation is due to Combrick Cup. This topic has been the subject of many engineering developments, the target being to create a membrane which is at the same time rigid, light, and damp. Very often, a compromise is made. The membrane is either rigid, damp, but heavy, or is light, rigid, but only lightly damp. In the first case, is the sensitivity of the loudspeaker which is impacted, while in the second case, is the frequency response. In both cases, the transient response is disturbed. Here again, we understand that current electrodynamic spider technology does not strictly reproduce the audio signal, especially with larger dynamic range. Both TLN's ball parameters and performance remain stable only when speaker is playing at low, unrealistic level. Current electrodynamic speaker technology requires compromises deviating from real high-fidelity sound and music passion. Cartesian team is dedicated to sound reproduction progress. We are passionate, demanding and innovative. For more than a decade, we have been pushing the limits to provide technical solutions for those who wish to create exceptional products, more efficient and able to share musical emotion. This year, one century after Mr. Rice and Mr. Kellogg, we define a key step in the design of electrodynamic loudspeakers. We are pleased to introduce a technology that overcomes all the usual compromises while being closer to signal fidelity and emotion. Here is VKI. To make this technology a reality, we introduce two product references which can be adapted to your specific requirements. The heart of VKI technology is based on thick, high-grade neodymium radial magnets. It becomes possible to get one Tesla over more than 60 mm8, three more times than regular underhung motor design. Furthermore, between the radial magnets we introduce demodulation spacers, eliminating most of the inductance issues. To reduce inductance modulations to levels lower than ever before, additional demodulation rings are strategically added in the motor structure. There is no longer any link between large linear excursion, mass of the coil, and inductance. Thanks to VKI motor structure, a light, low inductance voice coil can finally deliver a wide, strictly linear excursion, keeping high force factor. We can ally for the first time a force factor higher than 11 TM remaining constant over more or less 10 mm, an inductance of only 0.15 mA at 1 kHz, and the moving mass lighter than 30 g. With a sensitivity of 90 dB for 2.8 V at 1 m, a power handling of 250 W, a new level of performances becomes possible, even for compact systems. The VKI range incorporates all the Cartesian innovations, such as Dynamic Spider, designed to offer constant stiffness over a wide excursion range. 
it makes possible to keep the resonance frequency unchanged at any sound level and so perceive all the nuances of the audio signal dynamics at low frequencies. As for all its tiers and small parameters, the resonance frequency of VKI remains unchanged over more or less 10 mm, ensuring your loudspeaker system to perform as you have engineered over its full dynamic range without modifying the audio signal. In all circumstances, the bass are deep, punchy, nuanced. Regarding the membranes of the VKI range, we are combining two Cartesian technologies, hexagon and CGF. Hexagon is a paper coin embossed with a honeycomb structure. It increases the rigidity while perceiving a very low mass. The CGF is a composite material extremely rigid, but also widely damped. The membrane of the wiki eye uses hexagon on an innovative concave convex profile. The CGF is used in a large cap as a junction of both profiles, creating a nearly perfect shell. As a result, we reach a very linear response up to 2000 Hz, a controlled compre up, and a moving mass lighter than 30 gram, which is a feat for radiation surface of 190 cm square. Thanks to VKI technology, we can create high performance loudspeaker perfectly suitable for each contributor involved in sound reproduction progress. It becomes possible to create a new generation of products, breaking free from all usual constraints. With this new state-of-the-art technology, we are setting up a new area for hi-fi system, closer to musical emotion and in phase with the new demanding high-definition standards. Your VKI loudspeaker will be developed and assembled in our French workshop, from the prototyping to the production, following our very demanding quality controls. Visit our website now and start your non-compromised loudspeaker project.